What's up everybody, J.R. Raymond back again coming to you from Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan, where today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we just talked about. We just had that video about talking about your swing, where your swing alignment is, is it going to the right, is it going to the left, and then I quickly touched on your hand getting to the outside part of the ball. So what I want to talk about today is getting your hand to be more on the inside part of the ball and giving you a little bit more forward ball roll, some of the things you can actually pay attention to to help you accomplish this here in a minute. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So I want to talk a little bit about that elbow. You know, keeping your hand in the inside part of the ball has a lot to do with your elbow and your shoulders. Now, if your shoulders are collapsed, meaning they go forward, if your right shoulder goes forward, it makes it very difficult for your elbow to stay on the inside unless your arm is in front of your body. And obviously you can't throw the ball from in front of your body because you have a bowling ball in your hand. How do you get it back over here and then go that way? It's just really not possible. So the whole idea is to get into position at the bottom of the swing with the point of your elbow elbow or the crease of your elbow, this inside part, facing outward while the point faces in towards your hip. Those are some of the focuses that you need. And then also with the center of your chest, as long as the center of your chest is facing towards your target, you can generally keep your arm open into the inside a little bit longer. Whereas if you start shutting down, as my shoulder shuts down, my hand has nowhere to go except to the outside. So my chest starts facing that way, I'm trying to throw it that way, my hands to the outside, the only way I can get it to go to the outside is to then flick it to the right to the outside. That's where you see those people start to really spin it and they get their hand on top of the ball and to the outside of it too quick, they get forced to play straight. So a lot of the bowlers, uh, you may be this type of bowler, you end up playing straighter than what you want to play or you get forced into playing faster. So you're throwing the ball harder and you're having that type of motion. You feel like if you have to move left of 15, you're in no man's land, you're, you struggle because you can't get your ball to either A, carry, you can get it to the pocket probably so you can't get it to carry or you just can't get it to hook enough in the front part of the lane to make it do what you want it to do and be able to strike a, a little bit more in your league. So you go and you buy a new bowling ball, you buy a stronger bowling ball, and what's that do? Well, it does nothing. It basically it goes against everything you're trying to do because you move left with a big strong bowling ball. You see my video with the redemption versus the arrow. Those strong bowling balls, as you move left, they start to use up the energy and they don't go through the pins. So you see the exact same thing. And they're too strong to play where you like to play a little bit straighter. So you're kind of trapped. So I see an awful lot of league bowlers using those entry level balls, the rhinos, those, uh, they used to be the nitruses, the cyclones. You see an awful lot of uh, the twists in people hand, people's hands. The, how the Electrify is one of the new ones from Storm that, keep, that people keep using. And so a lot of people are gradu gradu they're, they're eventually getting into those weaker bowling balls because they're the only ones they can keep online. So that's why you see an awful lot of the trend with the urethanes come into play as well. But I can tell you right now, you're better off if you learn to put your elbow in the right spot. So as you're bowling, make sure you're focused on that point of your elbow, the outside or the inside of your elbow facing as far to the right as you can. And one of the, the drills you can actually do is try to throw a backup ball. Try to get your hand to the inside and just let it release off your hand this way and let it roll backwards because then you can just rotate your hand to the right spot and then just gradually rotate your hand around it. So the point of your elbow stays in at your hip, the inside of your elbow stays to the right wall at all times as a right-hander. Opposite's true for a left-hander, just do the exact opposite. I get people that come on uh, and comment on videos and say, when are you gonna do some tips for the left-handers? Well, because anything I do for the right-handers is for the left-handers as well. You just got to flip it. You just got to do the exact opposite. So that's all there is. But playing the inside part of the ball is really important. That's going to allow you to play further left. It's going to allow you to migrate to the left and it's going to allow you to get the ball to read sooner and play a little bit more of a sweeping hook rather than just a straight down the lane and then a little bit of a hook and that's about it. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, I'm going to let you out of here and until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care.